thank you, everyone. And here we are with Tanks, the last game of our stream of many eyes. Four mighty warriors assembled for a purpose that will soon be made obvious, but not quite yet. But why don't, before we start, why don't we introduce our champions, starting down here at the end of the table. Hello, everyone. I am a new character from the Dark Sun. Yeah, I am Ulak Jotun. For those of you who don't know, Ulak is outlaw and Jotun is giant. I am a giant. I'm a half giant with some stone influence. I'm 12 to 14 feet tall. <laughs> and uh, I'm a rogue thief. <laughs> no, I just want to say, obviously, uh, I'm very honored to be here and very thankful to be here and honored to be up here with these guys. And uh, if I make mistakes, please help me out. Thank you. <laughs> yeah! Uh, my character I'll be playing is uh, Bieber MJ Timberlake. He is a... <laughs> He is an Azamar, obviously. Uh, he's 6'2", appears much larger. Just his presence is enormous. Uh, incredible looking uh, acting. He is uh, a paladin, 15th level paladin with some uh, battle master thrown in for good luck. Uh, he worships the goddess Selene, the Radiant, who came to him in a, in a vision and he's followed her ever since blindly and will do anything for any th good person. Selene Dayon? <laughs> <laughs> Good day. My name is Grog Stronger. I am a Goliath barbarian of the highest order. The brains of the group very smart. I am a 16th level barbarian with two levels of fighter. <clears throat> the last time you saw me, I had helped Vox Machina defeat the terrible Vecna, and then some son of a bitch took his hand and disappeared. <laughs> I am Archon the Cruel. Wielder of the hand of Vecna. Champion of the battle of Vecna. Co-founder of Jocks Machina. Mm -hmm. uh, one half of the Brobarians. Uh, I am a 15th level Oathbreaker Paladin of the five-headed dragon goddess Tiamat. And uh, with three levels of Barbarian mixed in there for fun. Uh, yeah. Red Dragonborn, breathes fire. Nasty. <laughs> I'll be your dungeon master tonight, or our dungeon master tonight. I'm Mike Merles. I'm the creative director on Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and if you didn't catch it, we are playing, all these characters are 18th level. So expect the, the worst from me. At least I'll try <laughs> to do my worst. Every page of the Monster Manual is in play. So with that, let us begin. <laughs> hmm. Each of you, from whichever realm you hail from, whether it be the sun-blasted deserts of Athos, or the other worlds, the Nine Hells, where Archon now keeps watch over Tiamat's domain, mm -hmm. your sleep the past few nights has been troubled. Visions of ravens swirling through your mind. Each morning you awaken in a cold sweat, the sound of a cawing raven echoing through your mind. And last night, when each of you in your respective worlds went to sleep, you now awaken each of you, the four of you are arrayed on an empty gray plain. A sudden a flock of ravens bursting in the air above you and dispersing across a gray, dull sky. You see rolling hills before you and the faintest trace of a path leading ahead past here and there scraggly dead tree reaching up like a clawed hand that's been stripped of all flesh. And in each tree, Bracketing this path, a single raven sits and looks at you and caws. You recognize some of you with your experience being 18th level. Some of you who've traveled the plains immediately realize you are in the Shadowfell, the dark, desolate realm of the Raven Queen. 
the path extends before you and all four of you feel in the back of your mind strange urge, something pulling you forward into the hills ahead of you. And of course, with a quick look around, you see each of your three companions, fully armed and ready for battle. Yeah. <laughs> well met. Well met, my companions. Never before have I been such surrounded by such manliness. <laughs> I feel truly inspired to be here. I'm Bieber. Please call, please call me Biebs. <laughs> Biebs. What the fuck's your name? First of all, be real careful how you talk to me, Shorty. <laughs> My name is Ulak. Biebs. And you, what's your name? Grog. <clears throat> Grog. <laughs> Grog. You're big. Captain Obvious. <laughs> I would like to... No, 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 no. Where the fuck did you go? And where are we right now? First things, it was just business. It wasn't about you, and it wasn't about me. I serve a master, like a friend the elf. And don't tell me that if this hand didn't include a wish, you wouldn't have done the same thing I did for your friend. Yeah, that's true. Fair enough. Why are we here? I have no fucking idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me either. I was riding my unicorn <laughs> moonwalker. That, that figures. And suddenly I was here. Sorry, it sounded like you said unicorn. Oh, I did. Pure white, rainbow horn, beautiful. I like fried unicorn. <laughs> You're good with a little Chianti on the side. <laughs> some plum sauce. Yeah, maybe some fried rice, too. Yeah. I, so where is your unicorn? I'm kind of hungry. Thank God not here. <laughs> <laughs> The path beckons. <laughs> the path beckons. <laughs> it's a tree in front of us? Trees here and there, almost as if this in a more verdant area would be a pleasant boulevard, but here, each of the trees twisted, bare of any leaves, almost reaching up to the dead gray sky above you. One Lying raven. One raven on the tree. On each tree. On, on each tree. tree. All on looking at you. Spectrum. One sorry, raven on right? each tree. Okay, fine. <laughs> the path heads out, winding uh, between the trees and up hills, maybe a half a mile or so from you, that reach up to the dead gray sky, obscuring anything beyond. Shall we? I think we shall. Should we? Shall we? Should. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Who would like to uh, lead us? Hmm. Who would like to guard the back? You're asking who's the tank and who's not? <laughs> we need to get it out of the way right at right the front, I guess. I guess I'll go first if you pussies can walk behind. <laughs> <laughs> Be my guest. I'll go <laughs> second just to keep him safe, you yeah, know. Uh, Make sure he's good. I'm just letting you know I've got gas, so enjoy. You can go second if you want to. It's fine. Yeah. I'm fine going there. Okay, I'll just dip. Yeah. Uh, <gasps> all right. Continue. Um... I guess we're moving forward, right? Yeah, so, forward up uh, the path. Marching. We're going up the path. Marching along the path. Marching along the path. Eyes are open. I'm forward. I'm looking for stuff, but just keeping my eyes open, staying on the path. I'm not deviating from the path. Got it. Only a moron gets off the path. <laughs> I start to... No. <laughs> <laughs> Frog, get your ass back here. Sorry, fucking stop hoarding. <laughs> yeah. So, on the four, four of you march. It's oddly quiet here in the Shadowfell. Everything's muffled. Your footfalls sounded. Everything is just slightly distorted. Here and there, out of the corner of your eye, you think you might see something moving. But each time you turn and look, you see nothing. 
just the ravens looking down from each of the dead trees you pass as you head up the slope of the hills, the steep hillside, and as you finally reach its peak, you see before you a gleaming white tower down in a bowl-shaped valley. It reaches hundreds of feet into the air, and within the dead sky and the dull grays of the Shadowfell stands out like a great beacon of light, and around it a verdant green forest, lush with life. Birds flutter above it, and it almost seems as if it's encased in some strange radiant glow that holds the grim reality of the Shadowfell at bay. Your path leads down the dead gray hills and into the forest where you see a path that looks like it wends through the forest to the base of the tower. And as you take that bizarre sight in, you see beyond the tower, another mile or so, a great sheet of just complete blackness from ground up, up, up as far as you look, to an enormous wall of just a great void. Let's check out the tower. I think that's the only thing we can do, keep going forward. I sure as hell don't want to go into the black abyss, so let's go to the tower. We're probably going into that black abyss. Awesome. <laughs> great. Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair bet. Great. But not yet. All right. Um, Right. So is there a door to this tower? Is there an entrance to this tower? As you start making your way down, the forest is a few hundred feet across into the, the tower. So you're not able to quite make it out yet. The trees here are all verdant, lush with leaves. You hear the sound of birds. As you get closer, it's muffled and distant, but with each step, it feels like you're walking miles, miles closer to this forest. When you see, as the path wends into the trees, a solitary human figure standing there, clad in dull gray robes, his eyes bound with a piece of what looks like black metal that's been seared into his skull, covering his eyes and covering his ears. He's shaved bald, his mouth has been stitched shut, and a similar piece of metal extends down from the band around his eyes, completely blocking where his nose would be. And he stands there, and as you approach, raises his hand in greeting. All of you here in your minds, at once, She's promised you would come, and now you are here, her champions. Come forth. You all heard that, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. I heard that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we go forth. All right, as you approach closer, the figure bows, says, I am the speaker from the void. It is my task to watch over this, the barrier between the shadow fell and the plane of negative energy from which all death comes. Mm. This tower watches over the thinnest of its crossings. Two of you may know of a great disturbance amongst the gods. A being of great power passed through here, fleeing from a battle, and in passing beyond the plane of negative energy, sundered the barrier. Mm. Something on the other side stirs. Something is coming. Two of us might know, you say. All right, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about us. You have been marked. You two, a champion of light and a champion of dark, here to bring balance to our cause and our battle. I'm sitting next to you. Great. <laughs> Thought it smelled over here. Follow me. All will be made clear soon. Okay. He turns and walks the path. Pretty easy. This is still pretty spooky right now. You got to figure. I was asleep, chilling, big pot of unicorn cooking. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy, tasty unicorn. And now I'm here. So. <laughs> Wait. So you you and I know. <laughs> you and I know who, what passed through. You said. Mm -hmm. He's talking about back now. Oh. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Right. Yep. <laughs> He's back. Here. Right now. Somewhere. Oh God. Okay. We're in for a big fight. Great. Yep. Uh -huh. Are we? No pressure. Yeah. The figure leads you along the path, going through the forest into the tower itself. Uh, there's no door, just a great arch that opens in its base. And you can see within, there's great radiant light, some light source in the midst of the tower beaming down into, its, into the bottom. And he turns once more, and in your, in your minds you hear his voice say once again, 
This place is a spire of hope's defiance. Within this tower rests the first light that was cast within the cosmos, the material plane. Only its power keeps this passing in check and keeps those which are beyond in the void at bay. Your foe's passage disrupted the balance of magic in this place. Soon they will come to fight. Soon they will come to claim the light. You must stop them. But I warn you, before I lead you in, the light will tempt you. All who look upon it see what their heart desires above all else. You, you champions have been chosen. For of the champions of the cosmos, you perhaps are the ones who could most resist its lure. <laughs> but we shall see. Obviously, you haven't seen my career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've chosen amazingly, <laughs> because I obviously should be here. <laughs> Beebs, you are super optimistic, and I love it. Oh. Yeah, his positivity is kind of infectious. I, I have to kneel in front of the first light and just bathe in its glow just for a minute, just feeling it upon my yeah. face, taking it in. It's inspiring. As each of you walks in, if you want to take a moment, what might your character see? As you walk in and look up and you see something floating there, bathing in light, what do you see? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm troubled. Mm. I'm troubled. Um, yeah, I'm troubled. I see a doorway and I see armies of ancient dragons flying through it into green fields and well. burning it all to hell. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I see me, full gallop on Moonwalker, charging into battle, my sword <laughs> blazing with my inner light, giant smile on my face, and possibly erection. <laughs> As I see this knight of goodness looking into the light with a boner. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there. Please don't. <laughs> when I look into the light, I see a hope, a dream that's, I've never been able to have and I have a tear, but I know I'm going forward. These guys don't know why, but there's a tear. Well, I see, I see droves and droves of naked women. <laughs> and all of them have endlessly full mugs of ale and they're all fighting each other. They're like, no, please, let me give Grog the ale. No, please. And it's just splashing all over them. And they're just, the boobs all, all, it's just a race to get to me. And it just never ends. They just keep coming. <laughs> wave after wave after wave. <laughs> It's, it's not real, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I like your vision. Good is good vision. I like his yeah. vision too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying because mine wasn't his, that's why I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the dark side, I don't see anything, I'm crying. <laughs> He's got boobs and beer, I've got, got nothing. I've got some to spare, it's okay, there's lots of them. Look at kind of... <laughs> <laughs> we make it through this adventure. We all go do his dream after. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Grog buys a beer. Yeah. 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 Deal. Deal. First round on Grog. Grog on Grog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see the chamber. The tower is 50 feet wide, circular. In the middle hangs the light, and you see within it each of your visions. Mm. And there is a ramp that runs around the interior of the, the, to the tower itself is hollow, up around the spire, up to its top. The light is about halfway up the spire, so about a couple hundred feet above you. And there are four great pillars of the base here that run up to the side, uh, each bracketing the light and extending all, all the way to the top and then combining to the roof of the tower far up above. The humanoid with the metal on his face turns to you. Says, Keep, remember this in, all in your minds. Whether your visions are dark or light, all of them are at risk should 
he succeed in claiming this light if his minions could take it? I know not what you may see, for I am the keeper, for I have within me only darkness. No hope can spark within me. That is why I watch this place. The fucking bummer, jeez. <laughs> no hope? Can't even talk. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Sorry. Now, there's a spiral staircase going up the inside of the tower, right? Yep. There's nothing around our 50-foot radius. There's nothing for us to look see. Obviously, we don't want to tear anything up here. There's the trees just out this, outside the tower, right. and there's the four columns. This is about like 10 feet which from, the, uh, from the wall with the ramp going up. So there's no doorway on the other side from where we came in. Do we have just to go the one, up? Yep, just the one archway. Yep. Right. One archway, this light, this tower. We defend this tower? That's why you've brought us here. That is why you have been brought. Oh, oh shit. Defending the power. The, the binding will not be weak much longer. He did not realize what he left in his wake. But now that he does, he has turned his eye toward this place. And soon his minions will be upon us. Hold them off. Prevent him from seizing this, this light. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> How big is the gig? Uh, it reaches about 20 feet up. 20 feet up, how yeah. wide? Uh, about 15 feet wide, 10, 15 feet. 15 feet wide. And the space from the tower to the forest foliage is? It's actually pretty close. Pretty close. Well, so we somebody's gonna. that from the inside? Yeah, I yeah. Think so. that's it. Who wants to go up to the top and see what they can see? Uh, I'll go. Okay. So I, I'll go up the spiral staircase as their window. Yeah, up at the top, essentially, there is uh, almost like an observation deck up top. Uh, the, as the spiral reaches the top, it basically hugs the top lip. That's the best. And then move, and, and surrounds. So from there, you can see, and then it's, there's like pillars, you know, it's like, you know, essentially like being at the top of the Space Needle, maybe. But except, I can see uh, the 360 shot. degrees. Yep, exactly. And so I can see the void. Yep. How far away is that? It's about a mile away. Okay. And as you watch it, you can see occasionally it seems to shudder and ripples move along it. Am I feeling anything about um, if I use divine sense? Yeah, using divine sense, you get an overwhelming sense of uh, undeath. Mm. Just pure. It's like when you reach out in your mind, and as you, even from this great distance, touching it, you can feel it trying to pull you through. I'm very anti-undeath, just FYI. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I go up to the top of the tower with Biebs. Um, What's up? Uh, <laughs> and um, these aren't windows. This is open. Yeah, it's open. Yeah. Okay. Open. How far? Okay. And how high did you say? So the uh, from the top here, the ceiling is about 15 feet. It's a pointed ceiling. Okay. And the um, the opening itself for human-sized creatures, probably from your waist up, to is about like five, four feet. Okay. All right. Um, this would be a great place to defend if we had people who had ranged attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> okay. None? <laughs> All right. I've got some sweet javelins. Javelin. I've got some couple of volcano balls. So. Lava stones? Lava stones, that's it. Yeah. I mean... Actually, they're volcano stones. Okay. Volcano stones? Okay. Yeah. I do have some good stuff with this sword of cars. <laughs> It's got, like, really cool spells in it. I'm not super familiar with spells, though, so I'm not exactly sure how they work. That's it's got, like, whole lightning <laughs> and other stuff. You, like, okay. point at stuff when it dies. <laughs> that's handy. That sounds amazing. It's right. It's not that's, bad. That's but... pretty handy, yeah. Keep that thing away from me. <laughs> <laughs> So, tower or ground? What do you think? Top of the tower? Is it, is it the closest choke point? I mean, we can always would, back up if we get overrun. Right. I, would, so, I would hold that choke point as best so we could. So, tower, stairwell. Yep. How far down is the stairwell? Uh, it's about 400 feet from uh, top to bottom. And is it the kind of thing where only one can get up at a time? Through it's the pretty narrow, yeah. Remember, it is open space. So, if you were just, it's just a ramp on this interior side of the tower with the four mm -hmm. pillars. 
So in theory, if you could fly, for instance, you could just go straight down. Oh, cool. Uh, just, just so I'm clear, the, uh, the light that's in the tower is coming from somewhere? Is it's it one pinpoint look right in the middle of the tower. Right that's in the middle of the tower, halfway up. Yep. So, so we don't want them to get past the halfway point, or do we? You don't want them to seize the light. That's what I'm looking okay. at. So, so they're they're at the top of the tower, they could grab the, the light before they even got to it. Yeah. So we definitely don't want to let them get in. So we so. have to defend the door. All right. right. Okay. And we, somebody has to be above it in case they fly in. <coughs> Who can fly? Show our hands. We've got flight potions. Ooh. I have a flight potion. We brought Red Bulls. I also have wings. <laughs> <laughs> you have wings? Not now, but. I'll take you at your word. All right, I'll be on the ground by the door if that's all right with everybody else. So we're splitting the party. Great idea. <laughs> now, now right. how big did you say this opening? Is this one opening that's four or five feet? Yeah, for the windows, yeah. For the stone windows? Yep. Okay. Okay, I have, a, um, I have an ability uh, called stone shape where I can manipulate um, stone like clay. I would like to close that window. Okay. All of them around, yeah. sealing those shut. All right, fairly really well. Seal that shut. So nice. We, so. we will eliminate that point of entry. All right. That's awesome. It's going to take some time to work on it, yeah. but say it would take you about 10 minutes. I mean, you're pretty skilled. It's just more the, the distance going around. Mm -hmm. So. All right, so you go to work and start. You notice so that, That's the, what I'm doing. I'm molding, I'm closing the hole. All right. All right. You notice that it is going to be a little thinner than the rest of the walls because you have to work with the existing stone, right. which you're able to, to seal them off. Right. Okay. Well, oh. Are the walls super thick at the bottom? They're pretty thick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've seen towers, you know, fall before. <laughs> Just putting it out there. FYI, BT dubs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Joe. I saw that episode. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> okay, and I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the top closed off. Yep. Um, we've got the bottom to defend. We can't let them get to the middle. Can they come in through the bottom? We've got the, that big the door. Yeah. Through the door. door. I mean, you technically, they can come in through the top, too. Yeah, well, if, we if I can close the top off, then they can only come in through the bottom. That makes so, it a lot easier. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. technically, someone could break it, I suppose. I don't think so. I'm pretty good at what I do. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I know you don't know me, and you're all into unicorns, but, you know. Yeah. Your Angie's List page was awesome. It was <laughs> <laughs> it's good I get a five-star rating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so he's going to seal up the top. Seal up the top. Meet us back at the bottom. Meet you back at the bottom. Okay. okay. The speaker, while this is all going on, has just been standing directly bl below the light at the base of the tower, just sort of looking up, watching you, looking out toward the, the archway leading out. Okay. Do you sense anything? And in your mind, you hear, not yet. How much Soon. time do you think we have? Minutes. <laughs> I gotta pee. <laughs> 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 I said that out loud, a minute to be in my head to you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you, you head out to the tree? <laughs> no, I just stopped peeing. Yes, yeah, right. I mean, let's be real, right? We're in it. I don't care, I'm not looking. Go. Cool. <laughs> okay, um, should we buff? I mean, we are buff. <laughs> oh, should we buff? Should we get pumped? Uh, yeah, pump, <laughs> pump it up. How long am I still filling this hole up before I join them? You're, you're done by now. I'm done by now? Yep. So we're all in the bottom guard in the hole? Yep. All right. Um, Fuck. Okay. Um, Hell's coming. Then you know what? I will I'm going to bless these three first level uh, well as soon as we see somebody on the way as got soon it. as they are within a melee round I'm going to cast bless got it any other buffs you guys want to throw off pre before the dice start flying no okay uh, so I have to wait for my turn to use mine um, 
when we're in combat, but like right now, pretty much, if there's anything you want to use, you can go ahead and use okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll wait for my turn then. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say this one, because we just got blessed. I'll wait and see what we got. I don't want to do this, and then like a bunch of chipmunks show up, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great if it was world-ending chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> really, no, but really like the first happy. wave is like a bunch of chipmunks, <laughs> and then once your, once your buffs wear off, then they send in the monsters. Like, that would be a dirty <laughs> trick. Okay. <laughs> the same. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's, I would do, but that's, that's what we yeah. do on Dark Sunside. So, you know. <laughs> All right. So as you sit waiting, moments pass, moment by moment, and the speaker suddenly in your mind says, they approach. Archon, you hear in the distance, horror blasphemy, what should be the battle roar of a majestic, noble red dragon sounds like one twisted and warped mm. and forced into servitude. Ooh. It shrieks in pain and <coughs> agony and servitude. A mighty servant of Tiamat, her most favored children, forced to obey a dark power. And you hear the great flap of wings approaching around, coming toward the tower, bearing down on you, like a rolling in, like a thunderstorm rolling in. And then around, you see shadows outside in the golden radiance swooping around. And landing in front of the doorway is a great shadow dragon. And upon its back, a warrior clad in plate armor, two hateful red eyes glaring through the visor of its full plate armor, clutching a, uh, a lance in one hand and a sword in the other. Roll for initiative. Okay. <laughs> And the bless went off as they were on their way. Yep. So you guys have D4s to attack and save. D4s? D4 for bless. D4. Yep. Oh, shit. Okay. So, all right, boo. A D4. <laughs> so, you know, roll a 20 and then. A gift from Tiamat. Thank you. Well, I rolled my 20, so I got a 7. So you got 10. So you got 10. You so I got 10. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, the initiative thing. That's right. Every time you go to attack, I had like the classic four, paladin initiative well. roll. Get ready. Yeah. Super low. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> on the top, you What'd you get? In. Uh, eight. Roll. Eight. Oh. Plus your 14. Eight. 21. <laughs> Thebes? 21. 21, huh? I'll let you guys fight out. And good luck. Ten. Don't leave me hanging, <laughs> Thebes. <laughs> All right. Five. So either uh, Thebes or Grog, who wants to go first? You want to go? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I right. would. So you see on the other side of the arch, filling it completely, what was once a proud and majestic red dragon, warped and twisted by the power of shadow magic. It snarls and roars in a combination of rage and pain. And the knight, the death knight on its back, points at you with its blade. What do you wish to do? Uh, I can only assume that you would like to face me in combat. <laughs> oh I welcome that challenge. Uh, how far am I away? Uh, about 20, 24. I'd say about however close you were wanted to be to the arch. He's uh, just outside. So you can kind of pick your own number. Um, do I want to charge outside the arch? You could just mm -hmm. talk to him. It's I'll fine. probably just not do that. <laughs> um, I'll say, please dismount, and I will face you one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> he looks at you, and he salutes you with his blade, and looks like he's preparing to dismount. Okay. Shit. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> All right, guys, if I go out and uh, fight this guy, you have to fight the dragon. Go get him. <laughs> you fight the guy, we fight the dragon? Well, you got to help me out, too. Okay, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so he comes, he comes off and he walks up? Um, yeah, well, we're going to go over the grog. If you guys want to wait for him to come in, then I can just kind of pull you out of initiative and we'll wait. I would wait for him to come you to come us. in? You can see other shadows overhead, too. So if you're waiting for him to come in, he is going to go on uh, initiative count eight. So, uh, Arkan, if you want to wait, if you, do you want to step in and do anything while you're waiting from outside, or? Do I want to wait? He's um, walking into the building. He's coming in here. We're, we're, we're. You we, can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah I don't think, for. I don't think there's anything I want outside there. We want to hold this door. Uh, if there's stuff flying around outside there, hell no. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to wait. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm going to cast Finger of Death at the Red Dragon. Okay. Yeah. What's your save, DC? Uh, 18. Okay. Con save. 
Nat 20 on the dot. Sure. <laughs> <Four out. laughs> You take half damage, though, right? Okay, yeah. 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 That's right. Okay, that's uh, 78 plus 30. <laughs> it's the hand of Vecna, y'all. <laughs> okay. Two, three. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, that's an, that's an eight. That's 18, 16, uh, 20. 68. All right. It roars in pain and rears back. Its eyes, as your magic courses through it, tearing into its form, partially dissipating the necromantic magic that keeps it together. But then it recovers and looks at you, hate filled, filling its eyes, mm. as the knight strides forward. I also have a bonus action. Okay. I would like to rage. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Rage you shall. <laughs> The knight marches in directly towards Beebs. Um, was anyone in between Beebs and, or is he, are you just basically right up front? I'm standing somewhere in the door up front. Okay. Which, yeah. yeah, he stepped forward. We nudge him forward. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him. Go get him, Beebs. <laughs> I'll take your unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> the knight drops his lance and hoists its blade up in two hands, wearing ancient armor cracked and dusty, symbol of a rose carved into its breastplate. And he nods at you and then rears back and charges at you with his blade. Soft. Uh, it's not that big. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, the rose through the eye. Uh... He might be he might be on speaking terms with soft, but <coughs> it's not that mean. Stern? No. No, okay. I'm kidding. That would be that would be that would be a great reveal. Yeah. Yeah. How dare you? <coughs> All right, so here he comes, he charges at you, wielding his blade. He slices at you three times. Um, so two natural ones, so my dice are off to a Yes! Start. But my last attack is a 28. That hits. That hits. You take a total of uh, 10 slashing damage and 18 necrotic damage. I am resistant to necrotic All right, damage. So cut that in half so to nine, 19. so 10 and nine, 19 total. 19. As the blade bites into you, you can feel some of your strength fading, but your divine radiance counters the malign effect. Meanwhile, behind the night, you see two more shadow dragons land. A second knight, <laughs> wielding two, leaps off and pulls out two long, cruel, curved blades. And on the other one, a strange robed figure with three skeletal head, three skulls in its head. One wearing a crown, one wearing a circlet, and one wearing a helmet. And as it, la as it stands, dismounts the dragon, its head shifts and turns, so the one with the circlet is in front, and it glares at you as light erupts from its skull sockets. Ignore these fools. Take the light, it says to the two death knights. The dragons also begin to, but clearly with this archway, they can't all obviously quite fit in. Mm -hmm. So that was their turn, their action, the one death knight up front battling Beebs. We come back to the top of the order. Well, since he struck at me, I'm afraid I'm going to have to strike back. <laughs> <laughs> Regretfully. Uh, so that's three plus seven plus 15 is 22. 22 will hit. <clears throat> right. Uh, I would like to, so I hit him with my sword. Is, uh, is he a fiend? Uh, he is not a fiend, he is undead. Undead? Fiend or undead, uh, the sword that I carry does extra damage towards Azure Edge. Uh, and I am also going to, I get this, I'm going to do a first level Divine Smite. Uh, when I uh, Divine Smite, as I strike down, my axe hits, the light of Celine <laughs> and her upper torso come out as she gazes longingly into his eyes and goes in for a <laughs> hug of radiant damage. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear slightly coming out of the out of out of out of the abyss the uh, my mama don't like you and she likes everyone. <laughs> oh shit! Sixteen plus fourteen is thirty. Okay. Damage. 
As you're, you're going for the hug of energy, he yeah, rears back. Like, he seems more hurt, perhaps, by the cruel words of the song than his radiant energy. <laughs> you hear him whimper, I thought someone would like me. But <laughs> as he stumbles back under your attacks, so that was your first attack? That was my first attack. I will do my second attack with uh, <laughs> less 10, 12, and 18 is 30. That will hit. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. And you guys were that three death knights might be too much. Come on. <laughs> Twelve, two dice, six, and my extra eight is four, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventeen plus fourteen is thirty-one. Okay, another thirty-one. You tag him for. He stumbles back, his armor smoking, where your two mighty blows have cleaved into it, leaving huge dents. And you see some of the the dark necromantic energy that sustains him leaking out from his armor. But he steadies himself and glares at you with his red eyes. Anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Brings us over to Grog. Yeah, right. So, three shadow dragon terrible things and three death knights. I would like to rage. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I will also look over to Archon and go like, oh, and guess what? I can do it two finger of death. <laughs> and one of the other, uh, one of the other ancient dragons. Can I have some D8s, please? You, do, you can do finger of death. Yeah, I can. Yeah, this, <laughs> this sort of cast has it. Seven. Seven. Now I have to count. This is going to take a while. Four, eight. Oh God, fourteen. Twenty-one. Six. Thirty-one plus thirty. Sixty-one. All right, now making a con save against us. Yes. Thirty-one plus thirty. Yeah. So oh, he has advantage. So that's five and oh, 15 on the die. He is going to succeed in that save unless you have is I, your save DC is less than 20. My save DC? Me? Yeah, it's less than 20. Okay. <laughs> so he does resist the spell, but he still takes half damage. Right. 30 damage. <laughs> All right. He staggers back again under the assault, but still standing. It looks like he still has more than half his hit points left. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else from Grog as you unleash the magic of the sword? No, just a little bit more pee comes out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ulek, our half giant. So you see the battle raging at the, uh, the, within the archway? Ten. Oh, I thought you were on eight. I'm 10. Oh, you're 10. Don't oh, you no, I'm sorry, am I? Ten you're 10. Yeah. I rolled a 10, yeah. yeah. My bad. No, cool, brother. <laughs> How far away are they from me? I can get to them, right? You can get to them, yep. Uh, I like to use my stone stomp. Okay. Uh, which will knock them all prone. Okay. I'm knock them on their ass. Is there a saving throw, or is it just is it automatic? Uh, something's not. Yes, there is. Constitution saves D21. Is that right? Okay. Yep, that sounds right. All right. <laughs> what? Okay. Is that good or bad? That's crazy. That's good. So you're actually, you will be able to get with that um, the two Death Knights, the Skull Lord, and one of the dragons. Perfect. So. <laughs> so, first things <laughs> first. Or Skull Lord. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Take the fucking Skull Lord out. Yeah. Oh, nat 20, but then a six, so one fails, and that will be uh, the injured one is stunned, and then the injured dragon will also have to make a saving throw. Uh, it will succeed on that saving throw. So the, the injured death knight is stunned. The injured death knight is stunned, and, um, and prone. And he's prone. All right, he gets knocked prone too. All right, so he collapses to the ground, and with melee attacks, you'll have advantage against him. Yeah, I'd like um, to... Can I, am I allowed to melee attack now? Um, yeah, go ahead. That was your, yep, bonus action. So. Okay, I'll use my huge maul. Okay. And, uh, and I'm gonna go get, go get me some. Roll the, right. roll the fort, so you'll, you'll, you'll have advantage, which means you get to roll twice for each attack and take the higher die roll. You roll that pink one with the red one. Two twenties. Two twenties. Oh, jeez. okay. This? Yep. It looks so small in your hand. <laughs> Ooh, like I haven't heard that before. <laughs> All right, so well, I need big numbers, right? You need big numbers. All right. Big numbers, no whammies. So All right, we've got a 19. Oh, that's, yeah, that's going to hit. Plus 14. Yep. You are going to hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Four oh, 19 four. plus 4 plus 14. Okay. That's it. 4d6 plus 8 damage from them all. Okay, so now what do I need to do? So roll your uh, four six siders, add them up, and add 8. All right, add them up and add 8. 37 to hit? Four sixes, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, 10 plus, uh, plus 14. 
Okay. Is uh, 24. 24, all right. So that's going to bring him down. All right. Uh, you still have uh, two more attacks. You have three attacks per round. Uh, um, I love it. Huge mall, huge mall again. Yeah. yeah. And roll and build you a sandwich. sandwich you want a drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a 12, ooh, a natural one ooh. and a four. It's advantage. You can so take the higher one. 12. So I take a 12. 16 yeah. plus 14. 16 plus 14, that's, that's 30. That'll hit. So go ahead and r r roll, roll your damage again. Ooh, I hit him. How about that? He's laying down. I hope I hit him. Get fired. The four to damage. All right. Four we got uh, five. No. Five. We got 10 plus uh, 14 is 24. All right. He shudders under the impact. You see now his armor is starting to splinter. Right. But he's still moving for well, the final well, attack. Not after this time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, huge maul again. There we go. Uh, 17 and oh, yeah, 3 is 20. That's going to hit with 24. the bonuses. 34. 34. 34. Yeah. yeah. 34. Right. Big number, big number, big numbers. We got 2, 6, oh. natural 6, and a 2, 8, 6, 14. Plus 8. Plus 8. 22. 22. All right, he staggers and sags what? as you just boom, 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 shattering. You see his armor caving in. But still, that dark red light within surges up. He staggers. You see energy, ne ne necromantic energy like smoke boiling up from his armor. But he's still holding himself together, just barely, as we come to Archon's turn. Okay, let's go. Come on. I attack with my battle axe, Fane Eater. <laughs> <laughs> I have a battle axe, yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty damn cool, if you ask me. That's. Uh, 28 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Um, I get a good feeling about this. I'm not going to blow any divine smites here. Um, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, 18 plus 16. Uh, that's going to be 34. That will definitely damage. hit. Oh, to damage? All right. One mighty blow. Jesus. Following up on the massive dents and the crushing blows from the half giant. You slam your axe into the chest plate and it collapses in and a sudden flash of bright light washes over you as he disappears. You said white light? Does that go back to our light in our archway? Does that help rebuild our, 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 our light? Um, doesn't seem to. So it just, the energy can't evaporate, just it's energy. gonna go somewhere. It just, well, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd argue, but you do have like I mean, one it, foot and several hundred pounds on me. So sure, what, what would you like to have, to <laughs> sir? I would like my little window upstairs to get stronger. Okay, uh, sure, I'll let that. You. <laughs> Roll, give yeah. me a here. I'll do this if you want. If you expend one of the uses of your abilities, you can capture that energy and funnel it into the tower. But you have to pick one of your abilities to give, like one of your uses of your. Oh, that sounds like a deal with the devil. Like give up one of my abilities and maybe I'll get something. <laughs> It actually comes into my axe first. Oh, well, there you go. Ah, see? Okay, good. Really? See, I bring, I go when somewhere. I, when I bring a medium... Th thanks, Matt Mercer. Uh, when, I, <laughs> when you bring a medium or larger living creature to zero hit points with this weapon, their life force comes into the axe, and I have the option of using a channel divinity to gain hit points equal to my character level. Okay. But since I haven't lost any yet, I won't need that. You won't need that yet? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I'm, right, being, so I'm being cocky now, because <laughs> I don't know what's coming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was only one of your attacks, so. Yeah, that's one. Um, how close is the Shadow Dragon? How close are the others? They are about 20 feet outside the archway. They are. Aren't is they stunned? Three... One of them, they're stunned, right? Uh, the, the dragon's um, stunned. The guy you killed was the one who was stunned. Everyone else actually uh, made, their, made, made their saves. So they're still oh, on top. They're still on top oh, of the save. <laughs> so they're on top of the dragons. There's another drag. There's another they dragon. There's three dragons uh -huh. lined up, yeah. glaring at you. And yes. then there's the Skull Lord and the other Death Knight with the two scimitars. Okay. Now the dragon that lost, the, the guy that we just killed, is that dragon freed? Doesn't look like it. Actually, looks actually a bit angry as it's glaring at you. Okay. Then I am going to move back. Like I will. I'm inside. Like I was in the doorway. I'm gonna come up behind the side of the door, and I'm. I can't hold my action. I'll just. Uh, I'm gonna stay. Okay. I'm gonna stay. So all of you are standing there in the doorway, looking out to these dragons. 
all three of them behind the door, Laird, like kind of moving off to the side. Like, hey man, all of it. The Skull yeah. Lord with his actually the head shutter and turns for the the helmed head to look at you. Not cool. <laughs> Convenient. I'd have hated to have to kill him myself. He can die out my betrayal as the three dragons all breathe on you. So, so you moved around out of the doorway. Yes. So the three of you, please make, each of you, <laughs> three dexterity saving throws each. You have, can I use you that have, ability? You have plus one. four, you have plus four to save uh, with, the, with, with my... Blessing? My paladin ability, mm -hmm. my aura of protection, you have plus four, plus you have your d4. I have a stone form that I can help. Uh, oh, plus four as well, too. What's your stone form? Uh, on your turn, transform into a stone form for one minute. You gain plus four bonus to AC. Take half damage from attacks. Allies gain cover from you and gain a plus four bonus to AC. So that'll be on your on your turn you can use that. It's uh, it's uh, in addition to attacking on your turn. So basically on your turn since you use the, the stomp. Okay, because they're attacking me, I can't use that now as a defensive measure because it's not my turn. Yeah, exactly. Okay, got it. What do I need to do now? Uh, you have to roll the three of the 20-sided die. And Three of the twenty yes. with each one. So just and what is? And then draw, yeah. Jeez, that's a lot of dice. I'm not digging this too much. <laughs> that, is that one of twelve? I was only kidding about 12. fried unicorn earlier. All <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> once. Uh, two, a nineteen, and a fourteen. So um, okay. What's your right. next injury? Uh, the, Three. The dexterity saving throw would be uh, your dexterity plus your proficiency? Uh, if you're proficient, yeah. So she, so he has a dexterity of three, so it adds three. Three plus four, seven plus. Oh three. yeah, so adding seven. Yeah, plus the three, which so is seven 10. plus 10, so it's a 12, a 29, and a 24. All right, so that's two success and one fail. So in total, you're gonna take 112 points of damage. <laughs> All right, next in line for saving throws. Cool. Um, I'm gonna cook I, me some dragon later. I'm I, <laughs> I have uh, very, very bad news. Uh, <laughs> uh, seven, so oh, bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> 11, 12, 12. Oh, okay. So that's only uh, 168 points of damage. Now, it is, is necrotic. It necrotic, so it's half? It's half. So that would be, uh, so... 84? 84. 84. Oh, you <laughs> lucky mother <laughs> uh, I'd rolled a 17, a 23, and a 26. Okay, so you're good. So you'll make all three saving throws. So that leaves I do. you with uh, 26, 78 points of damage, if I'm doing the math correct. And it's fire damage? Uh, necrotic damage. Necrotic. Okay. Oh, shit. No bad. Yeah. 84 points total. And you're, oh, and you, Dr. So you see a massive torrent of necrotic energy pouring, washing over your companion. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it probably really hurt. Uh, <laughs> All right, so that's the dragon's <laughs> turn. And then the uh, second death knight comes charging in, and he is going to... He's going to rush at one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to rush at the paladin. Nice. So he howls and sweeps at you with his two blades. So that's going to be this death knight. Uh, oh, another natural one. Uh, 21 and 23. All miss. All right, and then one more because he's dual wielding. Oh, it does. Uh, and I, all right, that's all going to miss. So he swings at you furiously, uh, his well blade done, clattering so. well off your done. armor. Thank you, Salon, Celine. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Meanwhile. Rarely let me down. I might need to buy one of her albums after I just got <laughs> Don't lie, man. You own them all. <laughs> and I told you that in confidence. <laughs> the Skull Lord points at the group of you and begins chanting a spell. Oh, God, there's another one of these dudes? <laughs> oh, Fills over the and three dragons. cold energy erupts from his extended hands. A cone of cold washes all of you, uh, washes over all of you. If everyone, except for Archon, could give me <laughs> constitution saving throws, please. So what are we doing? So plus one, four, plus, plus a d4. Four. Uh -huh. okay. And constitution six. 
Fuck yeah, man. Jeez. 17. 17. 17, all right, take 18 cold. 24. Uh, 18 cold. Uh, I got a seven and a two here, plus... Seven, two and six. Plus my four. Eight, 15. It's 15? Yeah. 15. All right, that actually, you will take full damage. Take uh, 36 cold damage. Thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> so glad I made the trip. <laughs> How much damage did you say take, 36? 36 cold, yep. Yeah, it's a perfectly good unicorn you were chewing on. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Unicorn's eating my ass now. <laughs> Where does the horn go? <laughs> In the abyss. <laughs> you, you Why had did I ask? Right, right, had to ask. right to tell. I, I deserve that. This brings us back to our paladin, Beebs. Uh, so, <clears throat> you have three dragons that just unleashed uh, yeah. chronic energy on you, and one death knight in your face swirling around two scimitars. Is there one death knight left? Um, yep. Okay. How far away is he? I'm just and then uh, he's right up in your face. Everyone who was in close combat with that other death knight, he's right up in front of you. Yeah, damn. Uh, I am. I don't know that I'm going to make it through another turn if I don't do a potion as my action. Let me rephrase. I won't make it through another turn. <laughs> and maybe get out of. I've the already doorway. taken 130 points of damage. Do it. Uh, so I am going to take a potion of superior <clears throat> healing. Okay. Oh, it must be nice to have those. <laughs> it's 10 die 4. That's supreme. Supreme. Yeah, 10, 10 d 4. 10 d 4. Supreme. <laughs> Can I roll 5 and double it, or do I have to roll it? Yeah, I forget how you want. Yeah. It's easy. 2, 4, 8, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, plus 20. Mm -hmm. 38. Uh, oh, sorry. Five, 10, 11, 15, 18, 36 plus 20 is 56. Okay. Anything else? That'd be your action for uh, the round? Yeah, so uh, with the remaining of a turn, I will go ahead and just stuck around the corner. Okay. <laughs> Getting out of uh, yeah. fireball formation. All right. Uh, Grog. Yeah, uh, I'll see this little bastard, and I'll walk up and I'll smash the Titan Stone Knuckles together with my bonus action and cast it on. <laughs> Uh, and I will take the Sword of Kaz, two-handed, uh, and I will make two attacks against this undead bastard, getting an extra 2d10 of damage on him. Okay. So, I'm gonna roll Reckless. <laughs> That's 30 to hit. That will hit, and then some. And the second one. That's... Probably also good. That's 31 and to hit. Yeah. That will hit and then some. Yeah, cool. All right, uh, 1d10. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 21. 22 points on the first one. Wait, 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 21, 23. 31 points on the first one. Okay. And 12, come on, man. 13. <laughs> <laughs> 17, 20, <laughs> 25 points on the second one. It staggers back under the force of your assault, reeling away as you put two big dents in its chest plate, but it's still standing defiant. It staggers back, sweet. I'm like, uh, no attack of opportunity, bye. <laughs> 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 right? All right. <laughs> down to our Out of the doorway. <laughs> this is on to me now? Yeah. All right. So the Death Knight's standing in front of you? He's standing in front of me. So you can use one of your sonic abilities, and then you can make your three attacks. Hmm. I'll do the stone form. Okay. I think right now that'll help me out the best that I can. Uh, you're on a hit. What's, uh, when your ally is hit, grant a plus four bonus to AC against the attack. Yeah, so that'll give whoever, when they get hit, they get plus four to their AC. If that makes their AC go above the attack roll result, then the attack is now a miss. Okay. That's for someone else. It's not for me. You can also use it on yourself. Yeah. All right, I'm going to use Psychic Guardian then. Okay. I'm going to do that. 
And now I'm going to go after his ass with my maw. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's this one and this one, right? Yep. Uh, no. uh, he, he was staggered back but wasn't knocked down. No, that's right. He's still standing. So you uh, uh, don't have advantage this time. But he got, like, really staggered back. Oh, he staggered back? Could I? Shit. I already called it. So. Just get him. Yeah, I'm going to get him. I'm done. All right, 12 and 4, 16. 16 plus, plus 14. 14. 16 plus 14 is 30. That's, That's a hit, right? Hit. <laughs> All right. Um, five, seven, and seven's 14. Plus what? Four, seven. Plus eight. Plus eight. 22. Plus eight, 22. All right. First one blow hits, cracking his uh, armor. Still standing. All right, and I have one attack left, right? Yeah, about three attacks total. So I think you have two more. Yeah, two, two more. more attacks? All right, good. All right, I need big numbers, big numbers. All right, 10, 11, plus 14, that's 25. <laughs> That'll hit. All right, good. Thank God. That was <laughs> <laughs> so all I need now, I'm like almost crispy. You hit the baked. whole world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, 4, 6, 6, 12. Uh, 12, 8, 20, plus, no, 20. that's it, 20. 20. Okay. Right. 20. One more final act. Still, still standing. One more uh, attack. I have one more attack. Can I do my axe and surge? Um, yes, you, you'll get three more attacks. So you can attack one more. You can save it. You don't need it for him. Think I need, you think I get, but if I don't kill him, you don't worry about it. Then through. you can go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm not going to use my axe and surge. I pull it back. I retract it. I'm just going to use my last attack. And when you get your last attack, if then he's still standing and you want to attack again, then you can choose. Ah, that's smart. Ah, see? That's why I play with the pros. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, <laughs> freaking kidding me. Natty one. Going out oh, Natural that's one and a four. Is. You want to use that action surge? Put an yeah, end to this yeah. guy? Do it. You want to Finishing right. move! Action surge. I got three more. Right. Right. Give him the big show, brother. Come on, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna choke slam this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, not really. Uh, nine and a nine four. 14 plus four. That's 18 plus nine is 27. That'll 27. Hit. 27 hits. That'll hit. Big money, big money. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. All right. You've got to be kidding me. That's I rolled four. three natural ones and a four. Five, six, seven, plus eight. Plus eight, 15. 15? 15. It counts. Good. Googly moves. Two more attacks. All right. I got to roll the attack right. again, I right? Balance it Make out. sure that hit. All right, 14, two, 16, 14, 30. 30. That's yep. a hit. <laughs> All right, nine, 11, 13, eight's 21. All right. Pretty badly hurt. Is he badly hurt? He's, yeah, but he's not dead. <laughs> he's badly about, hurt doesn't mean dead. Does not mean dead. He's got about a quarter of his hit points left. Oh, damn. You got this. You still have another shot. Uh, all right. Hit him again. You can crit. Crit. Okay. Crit. Come on. Crit. 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 16. 16 twos, uh, 18. Uh, 18. Still a hit. Yeah. 32. It's a hit. All right, come on, some sixes. All right, we got six, five is 11, and six is 17, and three is 20, plus eight, eight is 28. 28. All right, he is badly injured. <laughs> so, he's reeling back. If I will let you make one more attack to put him away, uh -huh. but you'll be off balance and have disadvantage on saving throws until your next turn. Making the deal. <laughs> uh, I got like 38 hit points left. <laughs> so, you know, it's either I really do the the martyr thing and try to kill this guy. Yeah. Then you can then you can move back behind the wall. Can I throw it move back behind the wall? Needs to be the move. Um yeah, I'm not taking a penalty. Uh, smart. Okay. I'm not smart. taking a penalty. Smart. Can't do it. Smart. I want to, but I'm not taking a penalty. Smart. Not the way these dice just fell. Hell no. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can still move back to the wall. If you yeah, want. I'm way, but I'm tucked up into Wait. that wall. 
The Death I Watch still has not used his opportunity attack, just watching, saving that reaction. Uh, All for right. the kids playing at home, if a giant can be on your team, take that. Yeah. <laughs> Archon. Archon. So everyone is spread out out of uh, fireball formation and now up against the walls. Reckless. All right, charging in. Okay, that's going to be a 30 to hit. That's that does hit. it. Okay, um, let's give this guy let's just give this guy a little Tiamat fun. Let's go second level Divine Smite. Okay. Um, nice. So that's two plus three. And I'm so dead. Seven. Seven plus one, that's 8d8. <laughs> All right. That's See, I knew yeah. it was. Yeah. Uh, 18 plus... Okay, 21 plus 18, that's... 39. <laughs> 61. He is very, very, very dead. See? Is your I knew you were behind me, man. That's when you got to do the dicks. Okay? Another one bite from my, from, from my next trick. He's very bad. Now he's very badly. Now he's dead. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. 61 okay. points, bro. So then soul comes into the act. Another dead soul claimed. We're feeding the hell out of him. And I go oh. charging out after that thing with that thing on its helmet. All right. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. You still have, you two, what, you still have the rest of your attacks? I got two more. Um, I'm going to go, yeah, frenzied reckless. Uh, I'm going to go, I'll go, can I go friendly? Can I call that or do I have to call that before my turn? Frenzy? Uh, no, you can Frenzied call reckless, it, yeah. I can take my extra. Yeah. Okay, good. Sure, go. why not? Hey. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, 29 to hit. That's going to hit. Okay. And does this thing look undead? Uh, yes, it does. <laughs> Let's go. We'll go. We'll go second level Divine Smite. Second level. Let's go second level. No, actually, you know what? Let's go fourth. You're right. Yeah. No, okay. Um, four, so that's going to be 48 plus one, two. He's undead. That's a three and a second level then a... Okay, great. That's one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Nine? Nine. 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 No, that's five plus six plus my four. No, there should be ten. There should be ten to eight. Sure. 48 for the act. <laughs> Right? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Okay, that's good. Um, that's going to be... Okay, that's 16, 24... Ain't no party 30. like an Archon party, because an Archon party don't stop. <laughs> 40, 50, 70. Uh, that's going to be 70. Oof. Points of damage. Oh, paladins, man. All right, you're at, your weapon crashes into its armor putting an enormous dent into one side as it staggers back. It, it's ra holding a staff in one hand that it raises up ineffectually trying to defend itself. Okay, great. Let's go with the third one. Um, that's 31 to hit. 31 you got is it. going to hit. Um, and let's... Um, yeah, let's... We'll just... We'll give him, a, like, a little love tap. Let's give him a first level Divine Smite. We'll give him a little first there. Um, let's give him a little... Little, little... Little... Oh, love tap. Hello, sir. Just tap it in. Just um, tap it in. <laughs> okay. Always room more for Happy Gilmore. Um, eight, nine, ten, ten, twenty. Uh, forty-eight. It's all right. Forty-eight damage. He's still standing. Okay. Wow. Terribly injured. Ter terribly, terribly. Injured. He staggers back and he shifts. Uh, is there turnover? Is that it? You moved and attacked? Yes, that's okay. all I have. So his head's turn again. That's all. The helmed head turning to one, wearing the circlet, and it glares at you and disappears in a burst of air, just rushing in to displace. And all of you can hear behind you, up where it could see the ramp going up, boom, it appears there. Shit. And starts running up. Fuck. <laughs> Meanwhile, the dragons, one rushes through the archway and will attack. Do I get um, an off attack? Uh, yeah, you can, if you can do as one reaction, make an opportunity attack. Yep, I'd one's going to barrel past you. So, are these things considered undead? Uh, yes, these ones. Yeah. Okay, that's um, twenty-five to hit. All right, that will hit. Okay, um, I'm going to first level divine smite on that dragon. 
Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, seven. It's a lot of dice. <laughs> I, had, I had to go get more D8s before I left today. Uh, 58. <laughs> three, 30, 37, 37, 47, uh, 53. Okay. Rolled good. Close. Rolled good. Rolled good. All right, you score one black ichor jets from the wound as you sla hammer your axe into its side. Uh, it just seems to ignore the wound though as it charges in to the chamber beyond and glares at the three of you who are in there and rears back to attack. Who is, would have been closest to the door? Or do you want to roll randomly? Okay, Grog, it turns at you and roars. Hi. Uh, it's going to get uh, a bite and two claws. So first with its bite. Bye. Uh, 28. That hits. All right, that is going to be with the bite, uh, 17 piercing and three necrotic. Okay, so three and uh, half 17 because of raging. Okay. And then a crit and Shit. a 20 with a claw. Oh, that hits. All right, so the regular claw does 13 and the crit one is going to do 20, so thir 33, so 20 and 13, the two attacks. Are those, are those slashing piercing? Those, those are slashing. Okay, great. So no, 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 no. Great. All right, Archon, the dragon bears, the two dragons that are outside leap upon you. Okay. Join us in service to a greater power than the false goddess Tiamat. <laughs> wow, uh, 18 okay. with a bite. No. Then two claws, uh, 20 and 27. 27 hits. All right, that's going to be uh, 13 slashing. Okay, that's half because I'm because I'm an oath breaker. Okay. Is it magical? Uh, no, it's not magical. No. Then yeah. So what is it? 13 half? Yep. Six. Okay. Then the other one will bite once. Okay. Uh, will miss with three on the die, and the other two with its two claws, uh, 13 and 19. No. All right. So you duck <laughs> no. and dodge and twist using their size against them as they crash into each other. Uh, and now we come back to Thebes. I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Uh, so I want to run up towards the death uh, skull guy who disappeared by the light. Uh, how far would that be if I went around the stairs and ran to him? Could I get there in a turn and attack? If you did nothing but move, you could probably, you could, you could reach him. Because he teleported up and then moved. So he's got a, quite, a, quite a head start on him. If I were to be flying, could I go straight up and get there in one turn? Yes, you could. Then I would like to channel my Azamar ability to, with uh, my Radiant Soul, where uh, celestial wings will sprout out of my back. You'll hear the angels sing, and even a little bit more light comes on me. And you didn't think it was possible for him to get better looking, and yet he did. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Without a hair even going out of place, sprouts his wings and flies up to the skull. <laughs> okay. Where I would like to attack. All right. Uh, Do we hear a syncopated well, beat? In the yeah. Or? It's possible. It, it's, it, he always has one somewhere close. <laughs> uh, 14, 16 plus 18 is 34. 34 will hit. Uh, and then, so I would like to uh, do a level two divine smite. Um, and an undead. 48. <coughs> I'm one D8 short. You need one? Yeah. I have a rainbow D8. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. It's perfect. Uh, and uh, this time when Celine appears out of the top of the axe, she just gives this. <laughs> <laughs> the... Is that the my heart uh, will go on gesture? <laughs> it's... She's very excited about yeah. this whole thing. <laughs> uh, 14, 18, 22, 32, 34, 36, uh, 40 plus 14 is 54. All right. 54. It staggers back, almost dead, oh. but still clinging to unlife as all three heads and spins, each one looking at you. Then I would snarling take at you my second attack. Yeah. Uh, with Azure Edge glowing, 7, 11, and 18 is 39. Okay, that will hit. How much spells do you do for that? 39. Does something have an armor class of 40 in D&D? Nah, other than you guys? I don't Yet. think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just a second. Uh, yeah. I'm less than 20. 12, 13, 16, 19, and 14, 33. All right, with a mighty blow, you shatter right across all three skulls, smash them all, and the for a moment, a, like it's as if its spirit is still keeping it intact, and you see a human face, spectral, resting within the armor. The true target, it yells, and the dragons all turn and look. Do not forget for him! And then it dissipates and falls to the ground. I silently uh, remind myself that I will remember him, and I say out loud, I will sing to you in my prayers tonight, great warrior. <laughs> All right, and that brings us over to Grog. I feel like I, I feel like that makes me lose my rage. <laughs> but instead, I'm so inspired, I will go into a frenzied rage. Um, and one of the dragon that has come in, uh, I will uh, take all three of my undead attacks at its uh, bitch ass, uh, reckless. Oh, uh, that's uh, 31 to hit. That'll hit. Right. And that's uh, 33 to hit. No, that's a 35. Oh, I'm sorry. That, yeah, that will still okay. hit. <laughs> you have a D4 you can add also. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no point, really. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and that's uh, 29 to hit. 29 blows, all three will hit. Oh, great, man, that's just wonder. That's great news. <laughs> okay, oh my god. I'm gonna cut this motherfucker open. Okay, 10, 21, 23. Oh god, 30. 35 on the first one. Okay. I know it's pretty great, right? <laughs> Uh, 13, enlarge damage, 15, 20, 29 on the second, and 16, 17, 19, 20, uh, 28 on the third one. All right. Hack and hack into it. Its scales shattering with each blow. Dark energy uh, wafting out. You see its form starts to shimmer, but then with a roar, it comes back into focus and glares at you with its g glowing green eyes. Shit. Let's go over to Ulek. Our half giant. What would you like to do? There's the, there's the dragon inside the base of the tower that's battling Grog. Your paladin companion has soared up to defeat the Skull Lord. Skull Lord's and defeated. And there are two dragons uh, that surrounded Arcan outside. What do you wish to do? Um, I chug a potion, big guy. I don't have any potions. A uh, healing potion, yeah. He said you could have. Uh, oh, everyone, everyone has three. Oh, everyone has three? Well, yeah. then, yeah, by yeah, God, definitely. I'd like to have one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need 10 die four. Yeah. Um, 10 die four, so which one is that? The, the regular dice, the squares. These? Yep. And just roll ten how many of them? Ten of them. Ten of them for what? Oh, this is your healing. <laughs> oh. it's, it's ten D4s. So do you want to just roll a D4 times a times ten and add it? No. No? Okay, yeah. fine, forget it. All right, just I like y'all. Yeah, yeah. I got more. <laughs> I like your true as a minute. I got four. Um, it's yeah. ten. Oh, do I have ten? ten he's got ten. He I got ten. Ten D4 plus twenty. All right, so all these numbers add up. There's how many hit points I'm going to get back? Yes. I better not get all one. Is that a... <laughs> Do you have D6s or D4s? Those are D. Said, These are D6s. Yeah, man. D4s. Oh, D4s. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, thought it was D6s. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get the extra points, man. Fair play. Got to respect it. Sorry. Got to respect it. Roll these five. I'm helping. And if you guys want to just go ahead and we'll roll go on to the Roll these five twice? Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll just go to our, 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 our right. Arkun's turn while you do your math. Sure. Yeah? OK. So I'm out there with this dragon. Two dragons. Um, the one that he hurt? Uh, the one he heard is the one inside the tower. Oh, it's inside. Mm -hmm. so there's three total. One two inside, fighting you. And I've got two out there with uh, you. You got two. They're no trying to. Yeah, one on each side surrounding you. Uh, one of them is the one that you tagged with the spell earlier. So it's already hurt. It's lost it's already hurt. a third of its hit points. Okay, great. Let's go. Uh, reckless Frenzy. Uh, that's going to be 27. That'll hit. Four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's go third level, Divine Smite. And he is undead. Okay, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine. D8. Nine. nine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 10 plus. 10 plus 20. 18. 21, 22, 25. 24. So I got 44. 45. Back, right? 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. 40. I like the one that squalid the squeaky toy. That was shitty. 50? Yeah, 50, know. okay. 50 points of damage. Um, second roll is going to be a 28, and I'll just roll the third one now. Um, 28 and then a 32. Yeah. All right. Okay, great. Um, first one, let's go with, uh, let's go with the second level Divine Smite. Okay. <laughs> 10 plus 10 plus 20 is 30, 38 plus 16, 44. No, 38 plus 16 is 50. 54. 54. All right, it staggers back, badly wounded, still up. But just a little more, about 10% 10 of its points left. Okay, let's Warrior go. Strength. One more, one more. Oh, no, I actually hit on the last one. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I already rolled. Okay. All right. I did the critical roll thing where you roll yeah. in a row. <laughs> yeah. All of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go straight up. Ten, 14, 30 points of damage. Down it goes. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So there's two dragons left, right? There's one on Grog and... Now turn to the other one and yeah. say, you will become a true believer. He looks at you, and as you look at the dragon, you see back over its shoulder the great curtain of darkness. You see a great, somewhere in that dark, gray mist of form appears. Skeletal face with one eye, one gleaming eye, its right eye. And suddenly, the darkness extends out toward the tower as you see the dragon start to shimmer and shake and discorporeate in front of your eyes as the hand begins reaching out that long mile. And they shudder and pop. And the dark energy coalesces, swirls around you to form a single, enormous, towering creature. And as the hand begins reaching out, it turns and looks at all of you. And suddenly you feel as if the tethers of your souls and your body <coughs> being tugged on by this thing. And it turns and points at Grog. It just reaches out to you. Could you, uh, oh, let's make an attack here first. You don't have to, man. <laughs> uh, 29? It hits. All of you see, Grog, give me a constitution saving throw. As you, you, you have see. A, you have plus four and plus d4. Plus four, plus d4, yeah. That's not terrible. Uh, or no. Oh no, he said you don't have plus four. Sorry, I'm not next to you. Oh, uh, Beaver's Beaver. Is, yeah. He's okay. not within 10. Yeah, 20, 27. That's still enough. <laughs> so you take 28 necrotic damage. 28. As all of you see, it's almost his life force draining into this thing. And it reaches out again toward Grog. There's other people here. <laughs> <laughs> Grog's good. <laughs> with a <laughs> with a 20. That hits. All right, uh, another con save. Okay. Damn. And you'll take another 28 necrotic damage. Woo! Look at that, that is uh, 31. All right, and you make the save, so it's just 28 necrotic damage. Okay. And each time as it drains life, you see the, hand, the enormous hand reaching out to the tower. As you see it, it starts off wispy. It seems to be gaining form as this creature looks down at all of you. Uh, Beebs? Uh, so how, um, um first, off? could you give me a constitution saving throw? I would love to. Are you standing there? No, no, he ran up. But he has it already. Uh, yeah, plus four. 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 I did yeah. give you my, uh, green, uh, You need a d4? I do. Oh, yeah, right here. I do, I do. Okay. Is that yours? No, no, I had a green. Oh, uh, so nine plus six, uh, nine plus three is 12 plus, is constitution you said? Yep. Fusion plus six is 18. 18, all right, you take 14 necrotic damage. Half? 
Yep. Be halved, and you feel a weird sense of vertigo, and you see within this creature, everyone else just sees it standing there, but you see it in your mind, it looks at you and locks eyes with you, as if it's linked its soul to yours. He's a fan. What do you wish to do? <laughs> he's, a, he's a fan? <laughs> Don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. Oh, too late. Uh, my pride bonus just went up. Uh, so I'm half up the tower. Uh, I will fly down to the ground. All right. Uh, so that I can, as far as I can get towards the door. You can reach and attack it, because when last time you flew up to attack, so you can fly by. So it's, the hand is reaching into the, the doorway? It's reaching out toward the tower, uh, and you see this enormous creature standing. All right, the base. then uh, I would like to attack. Okay. The, uh, when I'm in the radiant soul, it's plus, uh, another plus four on this. So it's 19 plus three plus four <coughs> plus 14. I'm sorry. Nin 19 plus three plus oh. seven, so it's 26 plus 14. That will hit. There. Do you crit on a 19? No. Okay. Uh, so I will do, uh, I will do a level two divine smite. It is undead or a fiend. It is undead. Paladins, wow. Is it reaching out this? Oh, and I have a 12 in here. What's that? No, we were just talking about the hand. Uh, as, uh, as as he's swinging in, of course, it's uh, you just hear this, it's gonna be me, <laughs> right as it comes in. Uh, nine, that's 15, <laughs> 21, 25, 57. He's like, I love that track. <laughs> 48, uh, 48 plus 14 is 62. All right. I will attack. Uh, attack it again. This, this. 17, 21, 18, 39. 39 will hit. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Undend bonuses are good. Yeah. <laughs> You were chosen for this mission, not for uh, this. Six, 18, uh, 18, 10, 12, 22, 14, 38. Okay. It's still standing. With each blow, it isn't quite standing up upright quite so much now. And you hear in your voice, all of you, the keeper, the breach is almost sealed. This is his last desperate gambit. Kill this thing before he can attune to it and reach into the tower and drag it into his realm. Kill this thing! Uh, Grog, your turn. My turn? It oh, uh, constitution save, please. Oh, shit, okay. Uh-oh. Plus two. Plus two. And 22. All right, that's enough. You feel its life-leeching energy wafting up, but you're able to resist it. Nice. So I can, like, can I run up and swing on him if I need to? If you need to. I do. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I'll run up and I'll take a frenzied uh, three attacks with the sword at giant um, Vecna bastard. Reckless. Uh, 31. Hit. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. 22. Hit. Hey. <laughs> and natural 20. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh no. That's gonna be a lot of die. <laughs> okay, that's 18 plus 21, 22, 25, 25 for the first one. Yeah. And one, 12, 16, 21. Uh, 24 for the second. Okay. That's a lot of brutal critical. Oh, okay, uh, fifteen. <laughs> I know. Uh, fifteen. Just dice 16. and dice and dice. Thirty-two. Jesus. Thirty-nine. <laughs> Fifty-five. <laughs> Fifty-five. <laughs> Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you hack and hack three times. It staggers back, this 20-foot-tall creature, but 
It staggers badly, but then is still standing. Its form dissipating badly, but still clinging to unlife. Stone stomp. All right. Uh, stomp? That's stunning stomp, yeah. All right, here we go. That's constant throw. So what do I Don't let it no, stare at Beebs. He has to uh, save against that. The saving throw? Uh, looks, I'm going to make my saving throw against the 14 on the die and my bonus. What's your so, bonus? Uh, bonus is plus 13. 27. <laughs> so 21. Yeah. yeah. So you made he, it. he made it. I made it. <laughs> you still have your attacks. That's an addition to your attacks. So, so I still have my attacks? Well, isn't that nice? You saved yourself. All right. Um... I guess my mall, I gotta beat it, right? That's the best thing I got, right? Beat it! Oh, Just be oh, beat it! No! I'll try the volcano stones. I'm gonna chunk some at him. I don't wanna get that close. Okay, go, so uh, go ahead and r roll your damage. I'll make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, that's... And if you want an action surge, you can throw two of them. What, what do we figure out the volcano stones? It's 10d6. It's 10d6s. All right, I failed my saving throw pretty horribly with a three on the die. So. <laughs> How many d6s does he have? I have four. four. You have four? I need six more. Here's six. All right. And I got three three shots of these, right? Uh, no, you roll them all at once. Roll them all at once, right? Yeah. You just do the damage. I Unless feel my saving throw. You're throwing all three as your three attacks? I think it says Volcano Stones three is three attacks. Uh, three, three total, so you can make one attack with it. You can action surge to make two attacks with them. Okay. All right, we'll see how this does. Five, six is 11. Two is 13. 15, 21, 24, 26, 30, 36, 39. All right, he's still standing. 39. Axe and Surge, I'll do it again. All right. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah hell yeah. Okay. All right, my saving throw. Here we go. I roll another three. Eight on the die. Uh, that is going to fail the saving throw. All right, let's see. Put him in the earth. All right, we got six. What is that? Five or six? Six. Six, 12, uh, 14, 17, 18. You didn't count the red one. Six uh, one. Uh, 18, 20, uh, 24, 29, 32, your stone arcs through the air. The first one detonates, wreathing it in fire as it staggers back, leaving it vulnerable to your second one as it impacts high in its chest and the fire washes over it. And as all of you rear back to the massive conflagration, when your eyes clear, you see the creature is gone. <laughs> <laughs> As you see outside, you hear from the Great Veil beyond oh, shit. a frustrated <laughs> shriek as the dark energy propelling the hand forward dissipates and fades to nothing. And you hear in your minds the Keeper's voice. Well done. Return now to your worlds, champions, until you are called on again. And he waves of your hand. Waves his hand, suddenly and all your eye around you burst ravens, like a flock of ravens flooding around you. And each of you wakes up, safe and so all, as safe and sound as you can be in hell or in Athos. <laughs> <laughs> Back in your native realms, awesome. knowing you have saved the world this time. Congratulations. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Go Barry! Bro! Bro! Thank you, guys. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. so much fun. Right. <laughs> thank you, Joel. Great to be back. Joel, my man. Thank you, guys. That was, uh, that was a lot so of inside fun. jokes. Mike, thank, thank you for everyone. Thank you, everybody. 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 We have fun here. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is awesome. <laughs> it's not everybody get to play an 18th level character. No. Oh, wow, this is it, great, man. I like to figure out how to use so it. So many fun. dice rolls. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dice. 35 to hit. Right. 46 to hit. <laughs> so I think we're going over to Anna. I think she's either coming out on stage to 
Bittus Abu. Uh, I Deep today? Yeah. We hope you at home had a great time hanging out in Waterdeep as well. And don't worry, the great thing is that you don't have to stop hanging out in Waterdeep because we have so many fun adventures coming our way. Remember that Waterdeep Dragon Heist is in game stores September 6th, and it'll be everywhere else September 18th. And then that will be followed, of course, by Dungeon of the Mad Mage in game stores November 11th, and everywhere else, everywhere else November 20th. I, for one, can't wait. What about you? <laughs> Now, there are so many people that go into making a stream like this happen, so let's take a moment for some thanks. First of all, to all the D&D partners, Beamdog, Beetle and Grimm's, Idle Champions, Roll20, Art and Arcana from 10 Speed Press, and Neverwinter. Let's hear it for the D&D partners! Yeah. And I think, I think it will not be hard it won't be hard to get you to clap for all of these amazing streaming groups you can watch on Twitch, right? The streaming groups! Yeah. And Wizards has asked me to give some special thanks to Jen Urban, Bill Riley, Pelham Green, Lauren Greenberg, Dustin Fletcher, Lauren Matusek from Castle Corsetry, Lisa Lee, Stephen Huff and Creative Combat, Stephen Leon, Gentle and Gentleman Adventures, all of the amazing cosplayers, Tyler Curtis, Funko Creative, Aaron Baroud, Robert Watts, Dirk Wallace, Ivan Van Norman, Elisa Teague, Emmett Fury, Jason Charles Miller, Library Bards, Lauren Urban, and Ed Greenwood, AKA Elminster. Let's hear it for all of them. <laughs> community, all of you and all of you watching at home, we want to say thank you to Wizards of the Coast and Dungeons and Dragons, right? Yeah. It's been an amazing weekend gathering around this hobby that we all love, around these stories that we all love. Thank you so much for being a part of it. And now, as we say goodnight from the Field of Triumph, please welcome back to the stage, Sirens of the Realms! Yeah.